Hello, it's Sarah, uh, and this is Hardcover Hearts. I am a long time booktube lurker, and this is the first time I'm jumping into the fray in booktube. So I was inspired uh, by Doris at All the Books and Sean at Book Maniac uh, because they started talking about this series that I found when I was in London this year, The Faber Stories. And the, this is a set of little short, tiny little books, uh, short stories that were republished in honor of Faber and Faber, the publishing company, in, order, in uh, honor of their 90th anniversary. And I, I was drawn to it when I was at uh, a bookstore and I saw this and I just thought, oh, what is that? I was first drawn to the cover because uh, I really, really love uh, an abstract um, design on a cover. And plus the size is just adorable, just this tiny little pocket size. You can just stick it in your, stick it in your uh, jacket and go. And, uh, and then when I looked closer, it is actually Sally Rooney's uh, uh, offering. And I know she's on a roll, uh, so I really wanted to pick this up and, and see what it was all about. Then I just looked, or looked at the offerings and there were some other really, really wonderful covers. So I grabbed a few, thought I'd give it a try. The irony is I am not a short story person per se. Um, Short stories really, they bothered me in the past. I, I really like a long, lush experience. I like really epic tales. I love to, to dive in and just know that I'm gonna be with characters for a while on a long journey um, in a really lush place. And short stories are usually so pithy and quick hits um, that I don't often enjoy the experience. Uh, and the twists usually sometimes, the twist comes at the very end and then you're just kind of dropped and left cold. Uh, and that's sometimes that, that's really irked me instead of it made me enjoy it. And while intellectually I can get it, intellectually I understand the craft of putting together a narrative that's really a short and, and precise, um, the emotions sometimes are, are lacking for me. So I was really excited to try this and see, well, maybe this is my gateway. And it was. Oh! So um, I'm gonna, I've decided instead of kind of talking about everything, because that would be a very long, very long uh, post, I instead decided to just pick out the top five that I have. And I still have a few left that I haven't read, only about, about two or three. Uh, so let's start with the first one. So um, Joanna, Juna Barnes, Juna Barnes, uh, D-J-U-N-A. So this one she actually wrote under a pseudonym. And this was written, my understanding is this was written probably in the 30s, and this is three mini stories, kind of flash stories, I guess you would say. Um, and I just thought the, the first one had me from one of the, from the second page. So I'm just gonna read this quick little line to you. It's a 14 year old girl and she's writing in her diary and she's having this conversation with herself. And she said, uh, I mean that I am debating with myself whether I shall place myself in some good man's hands and become a mother, or if I should become a wanton and go out in the world and make a place for myself. Somehow I think I shall become wanton. <laughs> ah, that, sold, sold. Uh, so that was fantastic. And there was um, questions of identity, like uh, gender identity and, and switching up and um, some, some real wild stuff going on here. So this was really fun. This was a delight. I will definitely read a little more. This is the Lydia Steptoe stories, and that's because she wrote under that pseudonym. Uh, the next one I read was Julia O'Fallon's Daughters of Passion. And this is a really very interesting cover. Uh, this, I loved this, this uh, very political, it was set in the Troubles and your narrator is on the 12th day of her hunger strike. She's actually imprisoned as a terrorist. I shouldn't even use air quotes. She, there was bombing, she was a terrorist. Um, but it, because of the hunger strike, her lucidity goes in and out and so you're 
you're following her as she's kind of piecing some things together and her mind is, is wandering. Really, really good stuff here. I like political books, um, but I definitely like a, a good narrative, and that was great. Uh, the next one I really liked was Lori Morse, The Terrific Mother, and that cover is pretty fantastic. And this got me from literally the very first, it was the very first page. Uh, second, yeah, second page, where something happened that was so shocking that I, I, it jarred me. So I'd much rather a shock come at the beginning. That's what I learned with this. If a shock comes at the beginning, I'm much more likely to stay with it because they have time to digest the shock uh, than if it's like the last page and the end, end scene. So this was, was a, a deep, interesting look at um, repercussions and how you get on uh, further on in your life when something uh, really terrible has happened. Really good. And then our Sally Rooney here. Um, I would say this was like my fourth favorite one. Uh, Mr. Salary. Uh, so it's the story of a young woman uh, who is returning from the United States um, to, uh, to a funeral and she's being picked up by someone that she's in love with. And so you have all the longing and the romance and the the um, the kind of dance that sexual dance that happens in a lot of um, Sally Rooney's work. And so this was really lovely. And then the last one I'll talk about is Edna O'Brien. This was my first Edna O'Brien. I was so happy. Um, I've always meant to read her. I'm really interested in her. Uh, in her legacy and in all the work that she's put out. Um, I just haven't had a chance to read um, City, I think Country Girls is, is the name of the trilogy. Um, so this was a great introduction because boom, super tiny. Uh, so loved this, thought this was really, really good. Um, uh, about a woman who is in love with like, she's a kind of normal, normal everyday gal and she's fallen in love with this act, famous actor and she's with him and his friends on, on this island and uh, and uh, it's about her fitting in or not fitting in and that um, the challenges that she's having and that was that was lovely and the rest of them are, are are really good those were just exceptional ones that stood out so I would love to hear if you have read any of these I should say this is a UK release only so you'd have to go through book depository to get them um, but each one of them are, are fairly inexpensive. I think they're like four, four or five dollars, um, which can make it a kind of a bigger, a bigger spend if you want to get all of them. But uh, I think maybe, but I think it was, it was fairly, it was fairly inexpensive. And, and then Book Depository does the discounts from there. So I would love to know, have you read any of these? Have you re specifically, have you read any of these five? And uh, what did you think? Um, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.